Hey guys, Mismaster1 here, and as I interrupt this awesome song, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Part 5. This is going to be the fourth part of the prologue, so let's get started. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. I report your evilness. Mario defeated the Gumba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. What unbelievable. What was the Gumba King thinking? He was a star to make him my king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp. Uh, Kami Koopa, are you, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your villain is. Try to calm. Try to be calm. Gumba King is small time. Gumba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. Okay. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kami. Those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? Is the one at Kubro's fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa brothers defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Who's that? Hiya! Oh, hello. Oh my god, my eyes like Prince Peasley all over again. Dear god, no. Here comes the Koopa Bro. Here come the Koopa Bros. Aha, oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. They're gangsters, god. Psst, Koopa. Are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Psst, get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Gumba King was huge, but he was total wimp. Wimpola. Okay, we're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent, if that's a spirit. Sell it, Coke. Blah, 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 Koopa Bros. Show our king the special tech. You do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. That, this is... Oh! How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent, really. I'm not e easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about to catch his star spirit, I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads and your back to the fortress! Guard that star spirit right now before I whoop your ass! <laughs> they just run the fuck away. Okay, so now we're continuing off from, you know, oh god, give me a minute, guys, I need to do something real quick. Okay, sorry about that, guys, just need to do something really quick, something was just, like, acting up with me, like, you know, allergies, maybe, stuff like that, and I just need to take a sec to, like, you know, blow my nose and stuff like that, but we're back, and we just came from the Goomba King's Fortress, we wiped him out last episode, and we're moving on to Toe Town. Well, look at this. We got ourselves a sleepy shape. If it works, it makes all enemies sleep for a little while. So it's basically a stunning item that, you know, does that stuff. Now, you'll notice... Oh, I'm just gonna walk to town. No. Because you'll notice there's a trampoline in that... In, like that trampoline in that tree. Hit this, and it comes down. So, jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. And look at this. We found ourselves a chest up here. And you get the hammer throw badge. Hits one enemy with the hammer no matter where the enemy is. So it's basically a long-ranged hammer attack. You don't, like, no matter where you are, it can actually hit enemies from the back row of a hammer attack. So it's actually more useful than you'd think it would be. But anyway, moving on. We have made it back to Toad Town. Hell yes. Hey, it's the Toads again. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in uproar. The princess kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's... Bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save our highness. Will do, Toad. But we haven't seen our brother ever since the accident, so let's go see him. Go down the green pipe. <laughs> Luigi's saying, he's probably like, do, 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 do. I wonder what my brother Mario's doing right now. Well, speak of the friggin' devil. Here I am. Oh, Mario, it's you. Good to see you. And you're alright. After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as an earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Eh? Okay. <laughs> Gamari's like, what the fuck? 
Oh, and who are you? I am Gumba. Oh. <laughs> this isn't Luigi anymore. I'm Gumbario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great, just a great. You're an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take good care of Mario, okay? You are such a pansy. You couldn't come with me. You have to wait till Super Paper Mario to fucking do anything. God damn it. Okay. And now we could go back into our house. Oh, epicness. Even though it says Mario's name on the door, it, on the like on the house, and Luigi lives here too. Here is the box where letters where letters addressed to Mario go. It's empty right now. Oh, I'm not famous. No. Oh, uh, my my dream is ruined. I quit. No. And look at oh. Pfft. Uh, yeah, nice. Look at that. Coins earned 49. Badges collected 3 out of, out of 80. Star piece collected only 3 out of 160. So we have quite a ways to go. So a couple things that we haven't got either. Number of battles, 15. Your first strikes, 11. Enemies first strikes, none. And something else on the bottom. Hm. I guess we'll find out what all those are later. But see you later, bro. I'm not going to talk to you for another little while. Because we have shit to do. Okay. Now, coming back here, we see that, you know, we have item shops, we have several houses. We, a lot of these people say stuff that are interesting. Well, I mean, and by interesting, I mean not really. So, I'm gonna pass on them for now. Let's just make our way to the center of town. And it could be just me, but I swear to God, my game's slowing down just a little bit, but whatever. And don't forget about this right here. If you smack this tree with your hammer, you get your four-star piece located right next to this place with the spinning world like spinning roof whatever this is the f the theft of our castle caused great destruction here the worst of it happened in the center of town it seemed to rain wood <laughs> raining wood as a result we can't get to the southern part of town the train station the port many important things i sell not being able to get there is a great inconvenience to me and to everyone so from what they've said if we go to check that now I just go check it real quick because they said the like south is completely blocked off. See, you can't go anywhere. It's completely blocked off, so we can't go there for another bit of the game. If you come over here, this is actually a place that these guys are setting up. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. I'm starting to meet. I'm starting me up a little business in Toe Town. I'm still setting up though. I want to see you back in here when we open. All right, when we open. All right. Okay, fine. We'll be finding out more stuff again later, so don't worry about it. Any other things? Let's see. What do you have to say? You see that blue pole in front of the post office? That's a road sign. Because people drive cars here. No. You can find out what's you can find out what's where in Totem by checking out the signs. What am I telling you this for? I'm sure you know it's smart to read those signs you see. Let's see. I didn't actually do this before. Can I check the signs? Okay, and that gives you all the directions, but I know where I'm going, so don't worry about it. If you check this house right here, Merlin is out. And it, I said Merlin is out, so he must be out. I'm telling you, Merlin is out. Ow! And it's just gonna keep repeating that, so you can't get in here, but remember that for later, so let's just move on. Um, this is gonna be quite a bit of a video, actually, because I, there's, I'm intending to finish the prologue in this video, so... You guys might be seeing like a 20 minute video, maybe 25, jeez. Then again, I could be mistaken, but if we make our way over here, Shooting Star Summit is right this way, so we can finally make it to the place that the Star Spirits have been calling us. But if you come over here, again, there's something to stop for. Find your fifth star piece right there, right next to, you know, the underside of Star Haven. So just check there and then continue on your merry way. So, we're just going to be ascending this giant hill, this giant summit, which will lead to the Star Spirits. We're almost there. You can look up there and we can see the glimpse of one. We're almost there. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. Oh wow, it's all of them. We're the seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of, a good, of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invade our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've carried for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has 
than making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to drown Mario or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, we can't see anything else or else this wouldn't be e rated Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted until now. Bowser, that fiend, when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the star ride so he could grant his own wishes. He seems con he seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear we will wash for more, or he will wish for more. Wash for more? What the hell am I talking about? And then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the seven star spirits to keep the star rod safe and use it properly. We must get the star rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly. Right now, you're not, uh, you're, you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give the power to fight Bowser even with the newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are. Alas, we've nearly exhausted all our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught in, are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will. Rock you. No. <laughs> Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Jeez, a lot's going on now. Damn. Anyway, let's continue without saving because, you know, if we save and then the file screws up, I can't go back. But then again, this is why you have copies of save, so. Uh. Oh, hey, it's Peach again. We haven't seen her since, like, part one. <laughs> Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. What's that noise? Oh. Wahahaha, <laughs> my dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the clouds right now. We're in Skyloft. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching up us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have the Star Rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know, power that grants everyone's wishes, it's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be upset because their wishes can't be guaranteed or aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the past years. If you, you know, wasn't anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause any trouble. Yeah. <coughs> I hope you die. Ugh. Oh, please, if only somebody could help me. Hmm? Huh? What's that thing banging on the window? Hello. Oh, nice theme. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're, you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that Star Red back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? Sad face. Oh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of those honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask some, ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured. I have, I have to save them all as soon as possible. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant you that wish either, I'm afraid. Why not? Why couldn't you just jump off the damn balcony and float down? You wouldn't die because you could just float down from the friggin' thing. Actually, I just got called up to, to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a, if I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. I'm trying at it. <gasps> Surprise. Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. Ooh, what's that? This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Alright, and there goes Twink with whatever that thing is, the lucky star. Oh, wait, Twink, wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine, he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course, I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach, definitely. Now, don't despair, I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? And there he goes. Off to grant her, off to grant her wish. Mario, where are you? Alright, and now after that little bit, we've came back from Star, from Shooting Star Summit, and now let's just head back there, so... You know, we're just cruising along back to Toad Town when all of a sudden- Oh! Ouch. Oh, I'm so sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. And he's excited. Oh, it's- You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars, I found you. He's dancing. Oh, yeah. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. You got the lucky star, a star-shaped pendant, lets you use the action command. That's the lucky star pr from Princess Peach. Now that that it's yours, you can use the action command. Maybe I'd take a moment to explain this action command? You know, I could do it, but I'm going to pass on that because I'll try to explain it myself. It can be a little difficult, but hopefully it'll go okay. Oh, okay, great. I don't even have to explain. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific, you'll be much tougher in battle now. Alright, here you are. What's going on? Oh no! It's one of Bowser's followers. What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Cami Koopa. She'll shower me a praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come! Oh god. And time for another mini boss thing. Now, I could demonstrate the action commands right away, but let's just tattle this guy first. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. So these guys are a little more challenging than the Goombas we fought earlier. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. Now, the way these guys work is that, you know... They have 8 HP, you have to attack them while they're in the air. Once you attack them once, they'll fall off their broomstick, and then you can do whatever you want. But now let's demonstrate the action command if we can do it right. See, press A right before landing, so if you do this, bam, press A right before you land, you get two attacks in, so that's pretty awesome. And then also, if, oh, I failed doing it, but you can also press A right before the attack hits you, and you can completely block it completely. Yeah, that wasn't redundant enough, I know. So, does 4 damage when you execute things right, you get more damage done. And with Gumbario's hit, there we go. So basically, it really helps out a lot with, with this game. You, I'll be using it throughout the entire game. Like, once you get it, you're gonna want to use it, like, all the time. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Bye, Twink. Shame he never told us the she, he never told the news. Oh wait, he's coming back. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you that message from Princess Peach. I'm all right, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling though that she's very lonely. I wonder why. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. Bye, Twink. You are gay. What? Never mind. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. All right, and now we've done all this, we can head back to Toad Town. And start dragging down the Star Spirits now, and yeah. 
Look at all this mess since the castle got lifted. Like, the thing's destroyed. The fountain's a wreck over here. It's just horrible. God damn it, Bowser. Yeah. Uh, so we come back. Oh, Mario. Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you where you meet him at the house. I probably butchered that, but I wasn't reading. I was just about to go look for you. <laughs> wow, it hurts to laugh. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric, even when he's when he has visitors. It's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Well, since he asked, I might as well go. Merlin is out, but it's Mario, you asked. Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you he is out. Oh, Jesus. He knocked me flat. What the? Why is someone sleeping on my in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. It's me, Mario. Oh, maybe. No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. Yes, he's not retarded. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Thank you. Come on, Mario. Hurry your ass in. Story time with Merlin. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars from the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, as usual, up to no good. You know. Fuck, I forget the lyrics to the Fresh Prince song, damn it. It's causing trouble in the neighborhood. But one day it happened. Suddenly a great appeared and I standing face to face. You are not making any sense to me. Then the far away the pious was raised me up was amazing. Your story is so boring. I was still so young and then I believed in but our hearts were and then so uh, uh, <laughs> and long story short, we fall asleep. Come on. And that's all that matters. Huh, hey, Mario, were you listening to me? Yeah, of course. Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventures, you can come to see me. I can predict the path that you should take for a small price. Rip off artists. Right now, your main goal is to save Princess Peach as quickly as is humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros Fortress, you head east on the road in front of the Toad House. So you heard the man, let's go to the right, like so, and let's go. Nothing's blocking my way, I'm free to go, and... Toads? Black Toads? You don't want to go out here, it's way too dangerous. Going to the Koopa Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all though, you shouldn't go ask Old Man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. Uh, I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. You guys seem really suspicious. Merlin! I have a predicament. I need your help. Come back. I actually have to go all the way around and talk to him, because if you talk to him from the front, it doesn't do anything. Come again? Strange shows blocking the east side of Toad Town. That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there, and I'll see what's going on. Okay, Merlin means serious business. Let's go follow him. And if you're really crafty, you can actually outrun him. <laughs> can't catch me, old fart. And they just like magically warps all the way over here. I told you that you can't pass. Take off. And Mario just walks over. Hmm? You aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. What's Merlin doing? Thunder balls! Oh my god! Huh, just as I thought, you're the Cooper Bros. How'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised, yeah, but you were black. Shucks, black, yellow, green, and we retreat. For now. And there they go. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Cooper Bros. You must pursue them to, f to their hideout in the Cooper Bros Fortress. Blah, blah, blah. Nope. Mario, there's one part of Fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. It's a strange port in, in a Koopa village. You might find something that will cheer it up. I am butchering this, goddamn. I must return home now. See you later, Merlin. Now, we could head to the right and start the first chapter of the game, but of course, this is the end of the prologue. I'll cut the video off here. And next time in Let's Play Paper Mario, we will start the first chapter of the game. So, 
Thank you guys for watching. I've been Miss Master One for part five of Let's Play Paper Mario. Stay tuned next time for where we start the first chapter of the game. So, see you guys later.